Well, hi everybody. I just want to say a few things because I've watched a few videos from some of my favorite atheists over the past couple of weeks, which I found a bit disturbing. And I, I hope it's not a trend, but it kind of looks, smells, and tastes like a trend. And of course, it is a trend, really. It's been going on for months and months and months, but in recent weeks since the South Park debacle, it definitely has gotten worse. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about anti-Islamic bigotry is what I'm talking about. Now, the other day in the comment section on one of my videos, I was accused of being an uh, Islamist apologist. I'm not an apologist for Islam. That's not where I'm coming from, people. Not at all. I've got no respect for the religion at all. Uh, you know, number one reason, it depends on a belief in God, and there isn't one. So it's just stupid. But I do have respect for people. And there are plenty of really rational, intelligent, friendly, kind, loving people who happen to believe that the Quran is their holy book, that Muhammad was their prophet, etc. And I don't know personally in real life, I don't know a single Muslim who makes me even slightly nervous. So I have a hard time with this anti-Islamic bigotry when I see it. And, <clears throat> you know, I will speak out against bigotry no matter what, no matter who the victim is. If I see it and it moves me, I'm going to speak. Now, recently, some of the atheists on YouTube that I admire more than almost anybody else um, have been making statements which I personally think are bigoted. And I don't think these people are bigots, not at their core. But here's the reason I'm mentioning this. You see, in real life, I'm a very blunt person, and normally I don't really like political correctness. But when it comes to speaking in a public forum like YouTube, wherever you've got a large audience, you do have to be mindful of your words, because no matter how large your audience is, that's how many different points of view there are hearing your words. And we all bring our point of view with us when we listen to anything. And <clears throat> whether we mean to or not, there's always some level of interpretation going on in the mind of a listener. So you have to be careful how you say things uh, if you're speaking to an audience. And <clears throat> so when I say these people that I'm talking about aren't really bigots, I, I mean that. But if you make a bigoted statement and you're not a bigot, you make room for real bigots. You make it easier for them to say the same thing and get away with it. Because they can then point to you and say, well, so-and-so is not a bigot. Why, why doesn't anyone accuse so-and-so of being a bigot if he's saying the same thing as me? So, you know, that's why I think it's important. That's why I'm making this video. Recently, some of my most favorite YouTubers have made statements like, um, your religion has no place in the first world. Or... Muslims need to realize that they don't have any place in a free society. Now, my friends, I have no problem with objecting to Islam. I have no problem objecting to any kind of bad ideas, whatever they are, whether they're religious or philosophical or, you know, commercial, whatever. Bad ideas need to be rejected. I would consider that a duty. And that is the way we're going to get rid of this problem by constantly rejecting the bad ideas. We're not going to get rid of it by being intolerant of the people who hold these ideas. You can be intolerant of the ideas, but not have to be intolerant of the people. When people's bad ideas cause them to do bad things, whether that's threatening violence or inciting violence or actually committing violence, you don't say to that person, we have no place for you in our society, because guess what, my friends? We do have a place for those people in our society. That place is called prison. Prison is where violent people belong. It's part of our society, but removed at the same time. It's a sort of halfway house. But you can't put someone in prison unless they commit a crime. And having opinions is not a crime. If you really believe in free speech, then you have to believe in the free speech of these dummies who think that it's okay 
to attack a cartoonist. They can say it as much as they want. They can act like that up until the point where they commit an act of violence and then they go to jail. That's how it works. So there's no need to say we have no place for them in our society. To say that is bigotry. To be intolerant of a person based on their beliefs is bigotry. <clears throat> we don't have to like everybody. But we do have to put up with each other because we're stuck on this rock together. And whether we like it or not, we have to live together. So we might as well try and make it likable. And the only way to try and make it likable is by trying to get along. I don't accept that the differences between modern Western culture and Islam are irreconcilable. Sooner or later, Islam will drag itself in to the modern world because they don't have a choice. All we have to do is be persistent, patient, and tolerant and will win. <clears throat>